Brihaspati is next in sequence after Aditi. Aditi is associated with the cosmic incubation principle while Brihaspati protects the crucial embryonic growth. Let's hear what the scientists have to say about the growth phase leading towards the birth of a new shining star. Star like our sun, which is a million miles across, it takes a clump of gas and dust a hundred times the size of our solar system. These clouds start off their lives bitterly cold, with temperatures hundreds of degrees below zero Fahrenheit. But as gravity fragments and compresses them, the heat begins to soar. Within a few hundred thousand years, the cloud spins into a flattened disk. Gravity coalesces the center of the disk into a sphere, where the heat rises to a scorching two million degrees. This glowing system is now known as a protostar. Ten million years later, the searing hydrogen core of the fledgling star soars past 18 million degrees, and something incredible happens. The core becomes so hot it can sustain thermonuclear fusion. The type of star depends on the amount of material that has gathered together in the area before gravity triggers a collapse. So our sun is in the main sequence, we're very happy it's in the main sequence, it provides us the same amount of energy almost every day, and that's what makes life possible. All stars in the main sequence aren't alike. Some are much smaller and cooler than the sun. Others much larger and hotter. Many of the stars which formed in the early universe were giants, actually blue giants. Our own sun is an average sized orange star. There are twice as many failed stars than stars that shine in the universe. Brown dwarfs are failed stars. In some ways, a failed star resembles planet Jupiter which is named Brihaspati in Vedic texts. This is common as your average star. These objects form the same way that stars form, in a collapsing cloud of gas and dust, but they're unable to shine for billions of years the way stars do. Brown dwarfs also have traits in common with planets. Oddly, all brown dwarfs have roughly the same size, about the size of the planet Jupiter. Also, as brown dwarfs cool, they begin to develop complex atmospheres with clouds of methane and, in the coolest cases, water. So in that respect, they also resemble planets. However, planets are formed in a disk around a star, quite unlike the birthing process for brown dwarfs. So brown dwarfs are like stars, but not really. They're also like planets. Failed stars are not luminous because they didn't gather enough star material during their collapse phase and thus could not trigger nuclear fusion at the end of the collapse. Pinons are moving fast enough that they actually uh, will, uh, will fuse together and will form a helium atom. It's this nuclear reaction that produces the energy to power the star throughout its life, giving it a constant source of light and heat. Scientists have been trying to understand why some collapses fail to gather sufficient material. They got their first clue through an X-ray scan of the our Corona Australis star forming region. This X-ray study is like the first ultrasound of a baby. The X-ray shows the protostar releasing a lot of energy far earlier in its evolution than most experts in this field thought possible. This shows that matter is falling towards the protostar core ten times faster than expected from gravity alone. This suggests that some unrealized energetic process is superheating the surface of the cloud core, nudging the cloud ever closer to becoming a star. The detection of magnetic fields from an extremely young protostar suggests that magnetic field loops may be playing a key role in hastening the cloud collapse. In Vedic terminology, Brihaspati is the Devata protecting the growth instinct. The name of 
Shukta Nakshatra associated with Brihaspati is Pushya and this word translates into nourishment. The role of Brihaspati bears a wonderful similarity to the mysterious growth phase which scientists are trying to explain in the formation of a baby protostar. There is one more interesting similarity. Planet Jupiter is also named as Brihaspati in Vedic texts. We can see the nurturing influence of massive planets such as Jupiter in protecting the life-bearing environment on the Earth. Here is one instance of it. Shoemaker-Levy 9 fell into Jupiter's gravitational thrall. Tracking 21 fragments. The planet's gravity ripped the wayward space traveler into roughly 21 pieces prior to impact. impact. Shoemaker-Levy 9 delivered a rain of chaos onto the cloud tops of Jupiter's southern atmosphere. Steel bombs fall to Earth. They would have decimated the planet. But Shoemaker-Levy 9 may be one of the best demonstrations of Jupiter's great contribution to life on Earth. Vedic Rishis assign Brihaspati the cosmic impulse supporting growth towards life form right next to Aditi, the cosmic incubation principle. Isn't this fascinating?